Hey guys, Steve Games here and welcome to another tutorial in Unreal Engine 4. Today we are going to be recreating the FNAF, um, the FNAF 1, um, the first tutorial for Five Nights at Freddy's inside Unreal Engine 4 because uh, the matinee is outdated. Um, if we um, save this um, and we try to open it again, it's going to show Matinee is now level 62. Would you like to continue opening Matinee or convert your Matinee to a level sequence asset? This is because the Matinee is outdated. It's um, uh, it's old. It's no longer um, valid. If you see that like, this is um, hard to understand and um, you can still use it. But in the future, um, updates is going to be deleted. So you may not see the Matinee legacy. So today we're going to be recreating the movement in a different way and we're going to be recreating the door openings and running away to a place by a different way. So um, we're going to first, first, um, we're going to uh, just put the character right here. We're going to go over and to open blueprint editor and we're going, we're going to... Um, We're going to take the follow camera, put it into mesh, and then type here head, and um, click here, click here. I'm going to set the real, um, click the real time. We're going to set this so it matches. Uh, nope, nope. Um, and we're going to um, hold up. Nice, nice, nice. Like this. Okay, so now we have a first person character. We um, now uh, the thing we have to do is to delete all of this because it isn't um, we don't need it. Uh, next thing we want to do is um, is to <laughs> yeah we have to click on third person character and set use control rotation you to true. We're gonna leave everything else as it is. We're not going to check anything else we're going to leave it as it is now um we have to go to third person example map and if we press play we can see we are a first person character we're not going to use this camera we just want to see where we start so we're gonna we're gonna delete this we're gonna get a um, this one we're gonna get it over here i'm gonna put it a little up so it, so we are, yeah, I see. Okay, so now we can't move because we deleted all of the movement stuff. Okay, um, it's kind of broken. I have no idea why. Uh, what, what? Okay, let's delete this. Okay, uh, let's put a layer start right over here. Press play, yeah, nice. Okay, we're going to be creating the office once again over here. Um, I'm just going to check if it's recording. Nice, nice. And we're going to, uh, I don't know, put a box right over here. Um, this is going to be um, the table. I'll give this wood mat material. Um, and there is going to be a frame. So we're going to search for a frame. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do this. Ready? Uh, we're not going to program any animatronics. I already did that. So we're going to just recreate one part of this series. So um, the first thing we have to do is actually make the camera. So we're going to go camera. Um, and this is not going to be the cameras, but it's going to be the views our player can get. So we're going to put a camera actor and we're going to right click and pilot now we can uh, set what the camera can see so if you want him to stand by the table you want to click this and uh, we're going to click here to stop piloting now we have a camera here we're going to create another camera we're going to pilot and we're going to um, put it right over here so he's looking at the door uh, we can uh, rotate it a little bit. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Disable this. Okay, we're going to put it right over here. Um, disable this. Now we have a nice camera. So now um, we will switch between these two. But smoothly, I'm going to show you how. Now uh, let's add another thing right over here. Um, let's put a cube. Um, yeah, let's make an air vent. So we're going to search window. I'm going to put, do this. Um, use whatever you want. I'm just doing this for the testing. So use something else. Uh, I'm going to add a vent here and we're going to create another camera. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Camera. Right click. Pilot. And we're going to make the camera look at the vent. So now we have three cameras. The last camera we want to do is um, backwards. Uh, yeah, so um, we want to look right over here. There is going to be a yeah, we're going to do this. Now, uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to create um, uh, well, we want to create a hallway. So we're going to, uh, once again, I'm going to use the frame. Frame. I'm going to scratch it out. Um, now we have a hallway. I'm going to use this hallway because so we don't have to model anything. Uh, now, uh, if we turn around, we want to press this G to G to hide all the things. We can see there's a hallway here. We can look around. We may want to put this a little bit behind. Now we have a hallway, which we want to run round down. So uh, now uh, what we want to do is to create something right over here. I'm going to create a cube right over here. We're going to make it wood. And now uh, we're going to put something on it, so I guess, um, I don't know, um, let's just put a cube over here and we're going to look at it, okay? Um, yeah, so now uh, what we want to do is to pilot the camera again and let's try to make it a little, yeah, a little more realistic. Like this, and maybe let's rotate it a little bit. And yeah, nice. So now uh, we may even do this a little bit. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And the front camera is like this. Okay, uh, we're gonna save all. We're gonna save selected. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna go to um, blueprints and the level blueprint. Um, you may need to copy this for every level you make, but I think um, it doesn't kind of matter. Um, okay, so for now uh, what we want to do is click on this camera with the reference. Um, get the reference to um, this camera. I'm going to name this so it's not okay. Camera front. Camera left camera right we're gonna name this one camera back nice so now uh, we have this uh, we're gonna get a reference come on left come right we right click and then click on this that you have to have it selected in the level. So if you click on this, you go to the camera, right click and click on this one. And we have all of these. So um, what I'm going to do is um, press Q and click on the events for when the Q key is pressed. Now we're going to copy this four times. And now what you want to do is click on this one, search W, click on this one, search A, 
I'll go down, go down, and you can see A right over here. S, click, and D. Um, w, A, S, D. Okay, now uh, what you want to do is uh, get a, um, yeah, get the reference, get a player controller. Now from here, we're going to set view target with the blend. Um, this, what it's going to do, is going to um, get our current camera actor, and it's going to slowly, smoothly go to the... Yeah. Okay, so um, we want to go do this. Um, um, <laughs> Now let's actually do this. So uh, we're gonna create promote. We're gonna add this here. We're gonna promote this to a variable. So this current view. Uh, we're gonna pass this over here. Control copy, and control paste. We're gonna pass this over here. Plug it into camera right, and do the same thing for both of these. Okay, now um, we want to do this. Um, plug this, all of these in this, and we get the variable. And we're going to plug this into new view target. And the blend time is going to be 0 0.2. Now if we um, do this, yeah, I messed it up kind of, um, I'm sorry. W is going to be the front. A, okay, A is going to be the... Whoops, sorry. Going to be the left. Um, right is going to be... To, oh, oops. Camera back is going to be S. I think this should be right. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, maybe let's try it now. Okay, so now we have we can rotate. Uh, we're going to set this to ease in, ease in out, so it looks more right. Okay, what? Well, uh, we're gonna ease in. What? Hey, what the fuck, bro? Maybe 0.3 and. 1.2, I guess. Hold up, hold up. Well, that's horrible. That's weird. I have no idea how this works. I'm sorry. Maybe like this. That's lame. Okay, maybe like this. I guess so. Yeah, yeah nice. I think this is okay. Yeah, I think this is okay. Yeah, okay. So now we have the turning around. Um, hold up, let me just um, test this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's set it to zero. It looks best. Okay, uh, now we want to save. We're going to play. We can now see. Um, okay, so uh, on begin play. Then begin play. We're going to plug this right on into W. So now uh, we already are in the middle. Okay, nice. So, um, um, okay, so uh, the next thing we want to do is to make the variable the, the direction. Okay, a little bit. Now we're going to have a variable that is going to be direction. Compile and save. Um, we're going to set this to string. And now over, we're going to set it. 
Copy this, paste this, paste this. Oh, whoops. Paste this again. Uh, now we're gonna plug this in here and paste this right over here. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so now the next thing we wanna do is to set this to W A S D. We wanna do this uh, not front back. Uh, this is going to be much simpler. Uh, it's going to be easy to. Um, okay. Now we wanna go right over here. Right click and left mouse button now we wanna get the direction switch and string four pins we don't we wanna from the default we're going to print string uh, we're going to add on like this just to red like five Okay, so now we have an error. So now what we want to do is to compress right over here, click on pit names and send it to W A S D. Compile it safe. Now what we want to do is um, now um, if we're in the front, this is going to be the actions we can take. So um, yes, so uh, now if we save, we want to create the door closing. So we're going to add a cube. Um, uh, if you want to make a cube and you don't want it to be stretched out, you can go to geometry, get a box. Now you want to do this, um, like this. Um, <laughs> you can go to geometry editing and you can edit the faces however you like. So you can just change these like this. Now I um, want to go uh, get this thing right over here. want to test um, how big it is. Okay, so we want to get this a little bigger. Like this. I'm going to do this. Whoops, sorry. Oops, I'm going to go right over here. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go to elevator object mode. I think this looks okay. So now, if we open and close the door, it's gonna look okay. Maybe a little behind. Yeah, like this. This looks okay. It doesn't go out, so it's nice. Now, what we wanna go is go over here, click on the door, and set this to one, and this to one, and apply. Um, and the next thing we wanna do. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go over here to brush settings. Click this little mouse, um, um, this little arrow, and click on create static mesh. Uh, now, if we go to content, we can just save this. Um, we're gonna say door static mesh. Save this. And now uh, we can set the material to be metal metal steel and now you can see the door isn't stretched out so it looks like a normal door and you can just do this paste this right over here and you have another door okay so uh, we want to make it close and open so we're going to make it open by default going to like this and we want to go to cinematics and add a level sequence i'm going to create a new folder for this and we're gonna create it and say the L, L door close. We're gonna uh, drag it out of like over here. And uh, we're going to, what we wanna do is to click on the door, go to track, and add, add actor to sequencer, and add door static mesh. Click. And now you can see uh, we already have the door static mesh over here. Now, um, if you look into the, we're, we're, what we want to do is click on this, 30 FPS, 
show time as and set this to seconds now uh, we want to drag this to how long we want the animation to be I say 0.5 open five seconds I guess okay we can do this so it's a little smaller and now we have the whole animation in here so we want to save and now uh, what you want to do is um, click on transform and click on the location and now we have a key now if you want to we want to go at the end over here and put down the door and add another key for the location now if you look we already have an animation of it closing you can reverse and play uh, now if you want to make it smoother we can right click over here and set it to okay 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 so it's all anyway uh, never mind now we see we already have the door closing uh, Next thing we can do is go to track and add an audio track. And we can at the start add an audio. Let's say um I have no idea what this does. This is horrible. Um, uh, you can enable it by showing the engine content um, maybe this no ok you can um, add a door sound if you want ok we're gonna delete it but you can set a door sound if you want. And stretch it out like this. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna save. And now um, we wanna close this down. So now if we click on our level sequencer, uh, we wanna go to third present example map and if we are on the left which is A on the right click get a reference to the L door close and now we wanna play play sequence player now if we no no, no A if we press play you can see it's, it goes up which we don't want so um what you wanna do is um delay what you want to do is to go delay um how long is it 0.5 i think now um 0.5 yes now we want to pause go over here and pause no 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 wait wait if you click on it yeah um Yeah, you want to click on pause at the end when you click on it in the level. Pause at end to true. Delete this. If we press play, you can see it closes. Want to go flip flop. And now uh, we want to play reverse. We'll go here and we can close and open the door. See, it works completely fine. It doesn't play the sound when you reverse it, but um, you can just use play sound if you want. Okay. And now we have a f f functioning turning around and closing door with the level sequencer. Okay, the next thing uh, I want to do is, to, is um, to get you run away over here and to the box. And then click on it again, run over here. So we want to create another level sequence. And we're gonna name this run back. 
Oh, that's a bad name anyway. I'm gonna paste this right over here. I'm gonna click on this. Frag actor the sequencer and add camera back. Now um uh, we wanna make this one like three seconds. Drag this like here. Um and now um I'm gonna click on it and pilot it. So now uh, if you press um gonna get the transform key and we're going to um slow this down. You can mess with this and so you may um Transform. Like this. Now if we play it. Nope. Oops, sorry, sorry. Oh, um, yeah. That's a problem because um, that's the Unreal Engine fault. So you want to um, make it linear. Make this linear too. Okay, god damn it. This is horrible. I hate this. This is the most annoying thing about Unreal Engine because he just rotates 360 every time he does anything. Yeah, I think that's the only solution. So you want to run right over here. Mm -hmm. You can, um, maybe you can do this. Uh, so you just... Um, just want to make it more realistic. So you want to kind of do this. like this maybe even up and down a little bit You can mess with this yourself, but I'm not gonna do too much. I guess like this is gonna be okay. Okay, uh, so uh, now what we wanna do is we can see the uh, running animation is okay. We can add an audio. Uh, if you wanna, um, yeah, audio, and you can add a sound of footsteps, which you can get on free sound.org. Um, let's say footstep. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you can pick a sound from over here. I'm not going to. And anyway, and so now what we want to do is get the. I uh, want to quit this, close this down. We want to click on it. Go to our trip as an example map. And we want to okay, copy this. S. Uh, we're going to get a reference from that. Drag this in here. Compile and save. Now, if we do this, if you look back, we can click and we're gonna run, run over here. Now, um, again, we wanna click on the sequencer, go to details and set to pause at end. Now, the next thing we wanna do is um, um, is when it's here. So um, uh, we're gonna get another camera. Pilot, you know, put it right over here. Um, yeah, like this. Hall cam, I don't know, something like that. No, 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 wait. wait. Hall cam. I'm sorry if this is a long video. I just not don't have the time, kind of. Cinematics are another level sequence. Going to level sequence, uh, run back, run back two, I guess. Say, wanna drag this over here. Going to add this. Uh, well, you wanna make it three seconds again. So we're gonna. Um, you make you have to make sure the this camera view is on the whole the whole um the whole thing are gonna yeah okay so um yeah we may have a problem okay we're gonna we're gonna get this and we're gonna go to the map and we're gonna use another flip flop i get a reference we're gonna use this okay I have a feeling that it's going to be uh, laggy. Hold on. Okay, so now we're here. Yeah, okay, it switches. Okay, so what we have to do is to delete um, the camera cut. Um, we're going to delete this. And we're going to just use this camera. Um, yeah, we're going to pilot harder. Key, another another key, right over here. <sighs> like this transform. Uh, this is going to be maybe maybe it's gonna no. It's okay. Okay, so now we, what you want to do is to make it more realistic. We're gonna go out. Wanna again? We wanna just. Uh, it a little bit so we want to rotate this and put it right over here click Make it run over here I guess we're gonna rotate it Okay, like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe like this, even. That's okay. Uh, we're going to save this. We're going to. Um, We have to do once, please. Uh, this whole uh, thing, and we're going to drag this out. And say, let me just look how long is this tutorial. Okay, 34 minutes. 
I'm going to go here, compile and save. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, we're going to do once, then we're going to delay three seconds. And do this, the same thing right over here. Reset. Uh, also, we want to set the direction to something like back. And do the same thing over. We're going to save this to W. Mm -hmm. Like this, compound save. Um, now we want to switch on. We're going to reset this. Um, okay, so um, we have to delete. Um, no, no, let's leave the ones. Okay, like this. Delete the flip flop. No. Uh, delete this. We're gonna get this right over here. Gonna delete. Gonna not uh, add this differently. So we're gonna add a new pin. We're going to name it. Um, yeah. Back. It has to be the exact same text as here. So we're gonna copy this. Paste this. And save. And on the back we're gonna write go over here. And save. So now what we want to do is um, on a branch is the direction equal to back, not equal, I'm sorry, not equal, back. And if that's true, we could do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it should work. Let's try it out. Okay, no, 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 a last thing. On the back, uh, if it's back, we have to set view target. We're going to turn off. Set view target with blend. Plug this. Uh, we're going to copy the get play controller. We're going to paste it here. And the new view target is going to be... Uh, we have to go to the level, and we're gonna we wanna close this down. Gonna save all. Wanna click on this camera. Wanna um, right click and get the contact sensitive tool. Get a reference. Plug this over here. Gonna compile and save. Gonna blend time 0.2. Gonna set this to cubic. Okay, now um, it should work. Okay. Running back, we click again, it's going back. And we're okay, uh, this is okay. So uh, we want to, oh yeah, we want to go here, click on this one, and set a pause at the end to true. Safe. Uh, the last thing we want to go to the third person character and set the mesh to nothing no 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 set the mesh to invisible okay and now we have created a basic nav game which you can play we have uh, learned how to use the level sequences uh, so i hope you learn uh, so you i hope you're gonna use them more uh, you, you can you know, make awesome films and movies with the level sequences um, you may even um, yeah it's it pretty awesome you can see it okay there's a bug what what that's weird what what oh oh I see mm. oh Okay, I see what you mean. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna what we're gonna do is add a play right over here. If you do that, we wanna 
get the reference to this one the, the run to first level sequence I'm gonna right click I'm gonna get a reference and we're gonna stop I'm gonna stop gonna play and now it should work okay what the hell okay and now we want to click again and we're back so now if we turn around we should be okay nice it works okay uh, the last thing we can see it's uh, we can turn around which is pretty weird and I have no idea why Maybe I'll set it to a um, more. Well, okay, hold up. Hold on. Okay, that's a strange bug. I don't know why. Why I can't turn around. Hold on a second. I want to fix it. Hold on, hold on, I have to f figure out. <laughs> okay, I don't know what caused that, I'm going to try to fix, um, I'm not sure if I can fix it though. Okay, we're gonna end the episode because it's really long. I wanna thank you all for the 500 subscribers, which is a really big number. Um, I hope you can make even better FNAF games with this tutorial. Um, shout out um, to... what's his name? I'm, I'm sorry, this is... Um, hold on, how was his name? Okay, I think... Um, Redcraft? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I want to thank everyone who supported me, who gave me ideas for the tutorial. And I will see you in the next video. Um, yeah, see you. See you. See you soon.